Today on Katie. Let's scrub in, everybody. We're celebrating 50 years of GH. Kelly Monaco. Kim Schreiner. Vanola Hughes. Maurice Bernard. Jason Thompson. Jack Wagner. Rick Springfield. Luke and Laura together again. Can you believe I finally got a cameo and it only took 50 years? It's showtime. From Studio One in New York, it's Katie. <laughs> And where were you on November 17th, 1981, when 30 million people were glued to their sets as Luke Spencer and Laura Weber Baldwin tied the knot? I, Laura Weber Baldwin, take thee, Lucas Lorenzo Spencer, to be my lawful wedded husband. It was and still is the highest rated soap episode and remains one of the greatest moments in General Hospital's 50-year history. You feel good? Yeah. All right. And please welcome for their first interview, Luke and Laura themselves, Jeannie Francis and Tony Gary. Look at you guys. Look, first of all, you look, both of you look amazing. Oh, Tony, thanks. your hair's a little different. Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> when you think about 30 million people watching that wedding, what was it that made people so into you? Well. <laughs> Her. <laughs> no, you. Really good story, I think. They, they yes. wrote a beautiful, uh, unconventional love story, and they took their time. Uh, was it? It was like two years in the making. Two years leading up to that moment, I yes. think. Everybody was waiting for that moment for these two people to get together. It seems to me, obviously, you guys have a very special connection. And, and you can't fake that. No. Tony, you really kept an eye out on, on Jeannie and really wanted to protect her in a way, didn't you? Well, Jeannie was clearly an extraordinary actress. She wore her emotions on her sleeves. She had total control of of the medium, she she just really was an, uh, an astounding actress. And I felt very protective of her. And in a way, you were sort of in awe of Tony at the time. I, I can't believe how young you were. I mean, you know, getting General Hospital for me was just the most exciting thing in the world. It was my opportunity to prove myself as an actress. Uh, when Tony came on, it was very clear that he was something very special. He was unpredictable. He was on the edge. I never knew what he was going to do. And I, I completely idolized you as a very young girl. Have you learned a lot from watching these Absolutely. two? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, like what? I mean, Tony and I haven't really worked a lot together, but I mean, it's. You just learn that. You learn to be unpredictable and you learn to take it in the moment. I mean, we do so much that you have to be very prepared, but at the same time, you have to be able to just be there and, and connect with the person that you're doing the scene with and, and let it kind of bounce off in that kind of way. Well, you know, it wouldn't be a thing. general hospital love story without the drama. And when we come back, we're going to meet the other man, Scotty Baldwin. I hope Ooh. everyone gets along. Yeah. That's right after this. <laughs> Everyone to our celebration of General and how many years? 50. That's right. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Jason Thompson and I are here with Jeannie Francis and Tony Geary. As we know, love on General Hospital is never easy. In Luke and Laura's case, a guy named Scotty Baldwin made sure of that. Let's take a look. There is no marriage. I'll tell you! I swear I'll kill you! No! 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 So, please welcome the other man, Ken Schreiner. You, 
nice to see you. Thank you Thank so much you, Katie, for coming. Nice oh, it's nice to be here. It's really fun to have you. So what is with you three? You are the ultimate love triangle. Why are so many people obsessed with this storyline, Ken? Well, you know, I was a guy that was wronged early on, and, you know, and he's just trying to get the girl back and some revenge <laughs> on him. Yeah. You know? I'm glad. I'm glad that you're separating them, Jeannie. You yes. know, we're keeping yes, them you know. apart. Is there a moment in General Hospital that you really just loved your favorite storyline? Well, of course, the one grabbing the uh, the bouquet out of the sky like that was it. Was How many a, takes did that take, by the way? It was just one. Really? Yeah. Nice job. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ladies love the bad boys, so I think you both qualify. I'm not sure. I don't think you're that much of a bad boy, are you? Well, it depends. Oh, he is? Oh, okay. Sorry. All right. Work. So, ladies love all these bad boys of General Hospital, and uh, I would know. I headed to L.A. recently to visit the set and sat down with the show's most notorious mobster, Sonny Corinthos. Let's take a look at my interview with Maurice Bernard. He was wonderful. I really loved talking to him. And I'm going to see you guys a bit later. Nice work, by the way, co-host. Very good. Good job. Good job. But you all need to step aside for a moment because up next, it's Girls Gone Wild, Port Charles. Fanola Hughes and Kelly Monaco are here to dish the joke. That's right after this. And you answered the fans' most memorable General Hospital moment is, drum roll please, Luke and Laura's wedding. What a shot, right? Anyway, thank you all so much, everybody. Thank you all so much for being here to celebrate 50 years of GH. And to see more of Jeannie, Tony, Ken, Jason, Fanola, Kelly, Jack, Rick, and their castmates, just tune in to SoapNet for their General Hospital 50-hour marathon wow. starting tomorrow night. Get your popcorn and wine ready. <laughs> April 5th at 10 p.m. And I'm hosting General Hospital, The Real Soap Dish, for 2020 this Saturday, April 6th. You can see General Hospital, of course, every weekday. Check your local listings and make sure to watch my April 16th star turn on the show. With <laughs> heavy air quotes. And for more behind-the-scenes footage from my set visit, you can go to katiecurric.com. And before we go, I I don't mean to be presumptuous, Jack, but a lot of people have demanded a retake of our previous scene. So. Wow. I think we got to move into a little bit of Clark Gable. yourself. Our friends at People Magazine created a special thank you very much, Kelly. 50th anniversary collector's issue and everyone in our audience is going home today with a copy. Thank you so much. Thank you all of you. It's great thank you. having you. Thank you so much. And once again, to play us off, here's Rick Springfield. <laughs> Yeah, I know he's been a good friend of mine But lately something changed, it ain't hard to define Just he's got himself a girl and I want to make her mine She's watching him with those eyes And she's loving him with that body, I just know it And he's holding her in his arms late, late at night You know I wish that I had just his girl I wish that I had just his girl I love one girl singer. I just need girl. I wish that I had.